Big yeah, those flowers, that's called an aster. Oh, how white flower. Oh, oh no, look at that. Yeah. 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 Oh, my neck hurts. Oh, yeah. oh, there we gotta go back down. This area, unfortunately, has a lot of debris in it. Students are shocked to see this every day. We saw plastic, styrofoam, glass, paper, and some cloth. Plastic. 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 The reaction that you have is, I'm going to go home and I'm going to recycle everything I can. I'm going to reuse all of the things that I can and create as little waste as possible. Right. How many of you guys recycle at home or even maybe at your school? What do you guys recycle? Paper. What else do you recycle? Um, I'm part of the conservation department here at the National Aquarium. My main job is working with our school groups. So I work with all of our school teachers to get them um, bringing their students out here to Fort McHenry, to our wetland. What do you think it is? There's a lot of... Starling. I think it's probably... What else? Brown, brown shells. Oh, and house, house sparrow. Good, thank you. House sparrow. When it rains, all the trash that's on the street goes down in the gutters and comes up the storm drain and go in the ocean. Right. And how is the trash dangerous? Yes, because it can kill a fish. When um, the Fort McHenry Tunnel was built, it actually destroyed a lot of areas of wetland. So the wetland here is man-made and it actually was built as mitigation work to kind of compensate for the wetland that was destroyed during that building. I found, oh, no. oh, right. I found 13 um, plastic, I'm gonna get to what you found it foam, one glass, I found two glass. I found two, uh, I found two glass, three glass. Okay. Wetlands filter out a lot of contaminants and they take any pollution and things like that out of the water. Obviously being in a city like Baltimore, there's not too many um, grassy areas or even um, surfaces where trash can come into, whereas the wetland areas act as a buffer and can collect all that trash. And is all of this trash here from Baltimore City? No. 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 Where else does it come from? Pennsylvania, there's six states, aren't there? All the way up to New York, and then down in between all the way to Maryland. So this trash, even though it's not all from Baltimore or from Maryland, we end up um, dealing with the consequences of when it doesn't end up in the right place. A lot of the schools that we try to focus on are Baltimore City, and the reason for that is we really want them to get an idea and be able to see up close um, these wetlands that are you know, right within their own schoolyard, right within their own backyards or neighborhoods. Get away from the um, water. Those feet are touching the water. The water touching the water. I think if I shoot the water. This shoe's is stinky. The top has a white line. White line. And the bottom has a white line. Okay. Tom's back in. Tom, darker or lighter than the bottom? Darker. Pick it up. We tell them they're part of the Chesapeake Bay watershed, but it's kind of hard for a uh, student to understand what does that actually mean and maybe by showing them the species or showing them all of the wetland plants that are out here it'll really create a connection between um, those students and wanting to help the health of the Chesapeake Bay. Okay, what else do we have besides wood? What was your next most abundant? Oh, and glaze. So I hear a sire come over here. We're going to move. We want to give them tasks that they themselves can complete at home. So things that they can go back and share with their family. You know, maybe they're not recycling, or maybe at their school they're not recycling. What can you guys do to make sure your trash doesn't end up in the water? Recycle. Recycle. What's it? How many of you guys recycle?